he had heard rumors that this was on the way so it's not a surprise or anything like that but still like this is pretty big the raiders have officially officially uh cut Derek Carr just before the 4 p.m deadline to where his salary would have became guaranteed uh and they save oh they saving a lot of money they are saving 29.25 mil in cap space so they the way that they structured this deal it was a I guess they structured it good for both sides because both sides end up having some say so in it the Raiders they just gave him this extension um wasn't it right after Devontae Adams I believe it was last year right? I think so um but they gave him the extension and but they gave themselves an out where it's like all right well if we ain't feeling it if we ain't liking it then we can cut them minimal damage we save a lot of money and we're out of the deal we're straight now from Derek Carr's side uh he ended up it ended up working out for him too because they I know y'all heard about him visiting with the New Orleans Saints so he he visited he visited with the Saints and he they were talking about oh him possibly being traded there but Derek Carr told him no because he had a no trade clause so he had power too so it's like if you have a no trade clause then for you to be traded you have to give the okay because y'all know plenty of players are on teams where they don't have no trade clauses so they can be shipped off anywhere at any time without notice as we have seen throughout the NFL but since Derek Carr had that in his contract that worked out for him so instead of the Raiders being like all right Derek Carr we're shipping you here all right we're sending you there all right you're gonna be on that team he's like no I, I'm not waving my no trade clause y'all y'all either gonna cut me or pay me so they, they cut him they say okay bye um but anyway with Derek Carr it was uh we we saw where this was headed uh at the very end of the season when they benched him uh they didn't play him because had he played and gotten hurt and I mean he could he could have did them like I mean it's a business but he could have did he could have did the Raiders nasty he really could have say for instance he went into the game um the last game of the season and he got hurt if you know what I mean then Raiders would be on the hook They'd be on a hook. And, and, and he continued to be hurt throughout the offseason and all that or uh, until today. Then Raiders would have been on the hook for all that money. And Derek Carter got all that money. Guaranteed. But they, they did it amicably and respectfully uh, from both sides. So it is what it is now. So now with Derek Carr, as a, what's different about his situation versus uh, when free agency starts in a little less than a month, uh, he can sign with a team right now. I didn't even realize, like, it's crazy that Derek Carr, he's been around for nine years already. Like, already. He's been around for nine years. That's crazy, man. That that went by so fast. I feel like oh, I, maybe I'm the only one. Uh, and I'm sure Raiders fans will feel different, obviously. But I feel like Derek Carr's only been around for, like, five years. It does not seem like he's been around for that long. Um, but <laughs> he ain't around with the Raiders anymore. But, you know, he's going to get picked up. I know there's been a lot of talk that it could be the Saints. Uh, there's been some people saying that it could be the Panthers. Um, but we'll see. He definitely going to have some options. Uh, some QBs that could be out there on the market. Um, Aaron Rodgers, he's another one. But you're going to have to trade for him. It's easier with Derek Carr because all you got to do is come up with a contract with him. Come up with the salary contract and whatnot. And boom, you got him. Uh, but what I was saying earlier, he can sign right now. He doesn't have to wait till free agency starts. Uh, he's a veteran, and after you do four years in the league, I believe, uh, you don't have to pass through waivers. So he's a free agent immediately. Today, he could go on his visits. He could go. He can do whatever he wants now. He is free. So shout out to Derek Carr. Um, we'll see what happens with him. I'm very interested to see where he goes. You know where I would like to see him go? Um, I think Tampa. Tampa, come in. You, you don't, you're already talking to NFC South teams anyway. You talk to the Saints. You talk to the Panthers. Might as well talk to Tampa too. Um, so Tampa's one. Um, but I, I can't think of anybody else off the top of my head. But anyway, we'll be seeing Derek Carr in a new uniform next season. Uh, but until then, just like Derek Carr is when it comes to being with the Raiders, I'm out.